Hey everybody, this is Jirakos, and welcome back to Puppeteer. Last time we defeated General Monkey and started making our way through Castle Waxwain. We found the source of the vile vines, this creepy monster here. It's time to take it out, once and for all. Ah, eh, we can bomb these, but he'll just keep laying them down again. Instead, what we want to do is, as they told us last time, stand in the light. And... That's it! Keep it up! Maybe you can slam right through. Maybe so. Head on up. And bash it. Oops. <laughs> Missed. The walls and columns are falling apart. You know, they do look like they're falling apart. Maybe we should keep moving. Um, hello? Okay, seriously. Oh, I am insane. There's a mark right there. Let's hit it. Vines and more vines? All oh, this reminds me of that stupid bird cage I was locked in. Ooh. <laughs> it is very reminiscent of that. Go ahead and bounce the light beams back and forth, and you'll eventually destroy them. Here we go. Once more. Vile uh, vines ow. have two bowels. You need to take special care when transplanting them. Nicking the bombs with scissors, for example, would be most inadvisable. Is that one of the bombs? Well, why don't we do the inadvisable and nick it with some scissors? The light's getting stronger. I bet that took care of the vines upstairs. Up we go to fight it once more. And now we get the heart of oh, the creature. Creepy. Nothing should have this many eyeballs. Do something, Kitaro. Once again, you've got to use the light to fight it. You can use it to kind of spray into all of them, or use the moon goddess head. And a bunch of light yeah, meteors come down. Now, run around, there we go, and we get a couple grubs. Gotta make sure to kill them at this point before you go over whoop, and get to this spot here. But then start shining the light again. Trapped again. Let's see, I wanna go after this one. Nope, apparently that was the wrong one. They do have an order to them. Okay, let my shield refill. There we go. And gotta wait for the shield again. Okay, now we go after this one. Nice! I love the epic music in this part. It's really, really, you know, reminiscent of the end of the adventure. We're coming to the big climax. Oh, hello. You know, it kind of does. But keep going onward to take care of more vines. And we'll eventually bring this, you know, structure down, I guess. This should bring us shortly to another bulb. Come on, up and up we go. It's a very roundabout way, but we'll get there eventually. Behold the other bulb. Fortunately, vile vines are able to regenerate as long as one of their two bulbs remains intact. So, if you love your vile vines, make absolutely certain not to damage that other bulb. There we go. Once again, just have to know the order of these to be able to kill them easily. They just go left to right. I thought it was a different order, but apparently not. There we go. One left. Come on, buddy. You'd think they would learn. Nope. Next step, how to weed your garden. Step one, ready scissors. Step two, cut that 
that vine's bulbs off! <laughs> I kinda love that. Can we play on the merry-go-round? Uh, no. I don't think we should play on the merry-go-round. But you know what? Why not? Let's check it out. Hey, who said you grubs get to use it? I was here first! <laughs> While Kutaro and Picorino were struggling to defeat the vile vines, the grubs got to play without a care in the world. I'll destroy them all! You know what? I think that's a good idea. Bye, grubs! That's for stealing the merry-go-round that Picorino wanted to ride on. So, head back on up. And once more, we're up top. Should be able to use the Moon Goddess head again. Yep. These eyeballs don't get any prettier the second time around. I mean, they're like looking at me. Uh, ah, stop! And he's almost defeated. Once again, we're gonna want to travel around the edge because there will be more grubs. Puts up a fight when its bulbs are on the line. That's two, and there should be one more. Wander all around. There it is. Got it. Now, once more, use the light. Yes! Now, move in for the kill. Oh, here we go. Cut your way up. And up, and up, and up. Ow. That came upon kind of quick. This is it, Kataro. One mighty At shot. At last, the vile vines, lord of all things botanical, had been vanquished by Kutaro. The Moonstone's big moment was just a breath away. And check that. We get the white castle head, which is honestly kind of a cool looking head. Of course, it's a cool looking castle. Move through the gateway and we'll finish up this chapter. Despite the Moon Bear King's countless schemes, the Moonstone was about to be made whole again. Kataro! Look! The White Moonstone's pure light was restored, and it rained down upon the moon as power surged back into Castle Waxwain. And there was hope. What's happening to me? Did Kutaro finally... Wait! I remember now! It's me! I am me! My lovely little bear, I have returned, and your machinations must be stopped. The balance must be restored. You wish. Ah! Let me out of here! Now! I command it! <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the toughest guy of all? You know who the strongest is. Kutaro! <laughs> so how's that for a big reveal? Yeah, a lot of you probably saw it coming. Esma Potts, the Moon Witch, was actually the Moon Goddess. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. 534 souls. We've almost freed them all. There's a lot in the next curtain, though. But before we take a look at curtain three, it's the usual the post-curtain stuff to look at. Let's see our new heads. We got four of them from that one. The fighter plane. Yes. And he flies around. I like that he hops in for a ride and drops him. And good old Captain Gaff. <laughs> Kisses a picture of Esma Potts. I just had to see that again. That's too funny. And the sweet moon goddess. <laughs> and the one we got right at the end. 
Oh, it's got a little figurine of the moon goddess in it. How sweet. So, that's it for the heads. Let's move on to the final curtain. With the future of Earth and Moon hanging in the balance, Castle Black loomed larger than ever. Inside, Kutaro must face his mortal enemy, the Moon Bear King. The final battle draws near. It's the beginning of the end, folks. Indeed it is. Let's see how it all plays out. Let us continue our adventure. Ah, fate. As the forces of light and darkness said Marco, what could the moon say but Polo? The bitter struggle for power between the shimmering castle Waxwain and the shadowy castle Grizzlestein had reached a healthy boil. Hero and Tyrant would soon have their final showdown. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon and the earth and the sun and galaxy and... Well, let's just say he better not mess up. Now it just so happens, Kutaro and Picarina weren't the only ones who had refused to give up on the White Castle. A battle be brewing, me hearties! Man the long toms! Raise those mizzen masts! Look alive, me buckos! There be no getting the Davies now! Aim for the Black Castle! Where be my coxswain? Ying Yang! Faster! Put your back in it! Hi, hi, Captain. Me buxom beauty Esma Potts has need of her able seamen. Fire! Fire! Thanks to Kutaro, the White Castle had been restored. And now the stage was set for their epic clash with Castle Grizzlestein. Blimey, that firepower! Kudro, me lad! Why haven't you stormed the enemy vessel? <laughs> you're the pirate! Ugh, alright, fine, we'll do it, since you're obviously not gonna. Handsomely, no! <laughs> Trajectory locked! Fire! Yeah, before we follow the cannon blast, let's use the White Castle Head. And I just have to say, I have loved the art style that they show at the beginning of every curtain. I just really like it. It's a nice touch. Anyway, time to use the head. Aw, the cute little doll. And one more roulette. We're not quite done with these yet. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? A bunch of heads. Oh, you say a bunch of heads, it was really only like three. Trajectory locked! Fire! And across we go. I love that. You Sail actually get hit. Straight and true, me lad. The moon needs you, me bucko. Oh, and I love that. You actually get No! My head! You actually get hit by other cannonballs being launched at you as you go, knocking you off trajectory. Kutaro busted right into the Black Castle's drive chamber. Destroying this section ought to stop Grizzlestein in its tracks. Mm, hopefully so. Careful if you don't want to be a pancake! Yep, yeah, gotta kind of work your way up and over the gears. Now you'll see those pads there that seem to be glowing. They are dangerous. Don't touch them. Here we go. A couple more grubs. Kind of interesting looking in the back there. Hey, a few moon sparkles. Give me a head. Eh, it's Captain Gaff again. What? We're trapped! There must be a way out! There is. First thing first. Clear the rubble. Then, place a bomb. And now for the tricky part. Gotta get up top, and then pound back down. 
without hitting them. There we go. Okay, we're free. <laughs> and yet more grubs. They're just hanging out in droves here. Of course, we are back inside the Black Castle, so it's not really a surprise. Come on, there we go. Obviously, be aware of the electrical impulse. The further Ow. into the Black Castle they wandered, the bigger the gears seemed head. to get. Was the castle itself resisting them? Hey, what that move? Are these moving? Probably just more moon sparkles. Yep. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try this again. Get another head. <laughs> the Christmas tree. And this time we will not just simply jump right on it. Also, oh my gosh, I have never noticed before. There's, it, it's plugged in. There's an outlet. Ow, I landed on it. Ow, I lost two heads. Okay, we're a little safer. Nope, I'm dead. Well, we got the hundred sparkle. That's what really counted there. Oh, okay, that went very poorly. You might want to not use the boost cut because it's a little harder to control there. Hey, guys. I just love cutting them like this. Now, eh, let's switch to the gaff head. I like it. The further into the black castle they wandered, the bigger the gear seemed to get. Was the castle itself resisting them? Okay, there we go. We have the hundred sparkle. Lost a head, but that's okay. We made it through. Now, what's the hold up, lad? We can't take much more of this. It's not our fault we're stuck at a stoplight. Just wait for it. And eventually, there we go. He'll be safe to go. A couple more grubs. I've been getting all these. Why not? A few more moon sparkles can't hurt. There! If we can take out that humongous gear. Indeed. Use the time wisely. Ooh. Oh, Kutrin wrong way. cut his way toward the main shaft. He had to destroy this massive gear and bring the castle to a screeching halt. Alright, loop your way around. Usually once it gets to yellow, I stop doing the boost cut, so I've got more control. Keep going. Ow. Give me back that head. And we're in the middle. Got it. Yes! <laughs> you did it! Let's see this overblown fortress try and move now. Well done, me bucko! I knew you had it in you! I love her blasted back to the White Castle. But there was no time to celebrate. Indeed, we're in the cannon now. And this has already happened to Kutura once before. He knows what to do. Trajectory locked! Fire! And off our hero blasted toward his grisly, grizzly target. That smokestack looks like a way in. And yep, use the smokestack. Sure enough, the smokestack led right into the engine. Go. I don't know how you're supposed to get that upper moon shard, or er, moon sparkle. Hey, it's she. That's a random head to be gotten here. It took the fire and brimstone sort of fire to keep this castle stoked. Uh, I don't know if I actually got that grub or not. I think I got credit for him. Anyway. Just keep moving Could onward. Jumped over to the cylinders and cut through the belches of smoke. Another grub here. You want to time this so that you're getting past it. When the fire's gone. There we go. Ha, I got him. Ooh. That cut it a little close. And... Are those grubs hanging there? Uh, correction. X grub? You know what? The Black Castle used trolleys to transport fuel. Check all three of them. Ah, a grub! Hey, don't play with your heads 
<laughs> the grub head's kind of cool looking. Of course, I mean, it looks exactly like a grub. So, you know what? What is this one going to give us? Moon goddess head. Nice. Now we need to head down. There we go. Kutaro slid down the trolley rails. And just use the smoke to not and run into it. avoided a messy accident. There we go. Keep going. Avoid the fire. Wait, a couple more. Ow. What just happened? I'm not entirely sure. And suddenly we're back here with the grub head. Okay, let's try this one more time. Kutaro slid down the trolley rails. I am not doing so well this time. A whole lot of losing my heads. And narrowly avoided a messy accident. There we go. Take care of those two guys. Did I do something with this? Huh, no. I guess it's just scenery. There we go. Uh -oh. Another trolley line waited just past the exhaust pipes. We've got company! Hurry! Go as quick as you can. Ah, I say ignore those moon sparkles, but cut here! And slam it! A makeshift barricade? Like that'll save him! You know what? I think. Ooh, okay. Yeah, maybe I should take care of the grubs first. Just so they're not throwing those things at me. Ooh! Or... Just stay a good distance away. Easy as that. A few more grubs here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> it just completely missed. Alright. Make sure there we go. Just take them out one at a time. And we're good. Now, give me another head, finally. The Christmas tree again. And we've got a mini boss. Oh man, I am roasting. Didn't we burn enough calories in Act Five? <laughs> Kuntaro had finally reached the heart of Castle Grizzlestein. Start slamming, Kutaro! So you gotta slam it and get over there quickly and launch. Oh, don't get too close. Okay, I didn't get the bomb in correctly. Let's try that again. Got to get a little closer. Here we are. That made it. Nice. And now it gets a little more dangerous. Try it again. Did I? Yes, I made it. Slick. And now it's really angry. One more time. Avoid the fire this time. Did I do it? Yes. Kaboom! Yes! As my pots, me sweet! See how me cannons blast for thee! Ah! Just break, you stupid castle! Patience, love! Kutaro will save ye! Aye! Save your own dang witch! Crawl into a cannon and go get her yourself! You know what? Let's blast over to the castle one more time. Fire! Ah! This one's a bit more of an exciting journey. Look out for the thunder clouds. They'll sizzle us in a second. There we go. Kutaro blasted out of yet another cannon toward his third Black Castle invasion. He was starting to feel right at home. He is starting to feel right at home in this castle. But you know what? I think that's the perfect place to end this episode. We're leaving it off at a cliffhanger. What's going to happen when we enter the Black Castle and take on the Moonbear King? You'll have to wait till the next episode to find out. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and subscribe. Hey, and follow me on Twitter if you want to stay updated with the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.